Okay, hello everybody, my name is Colossus Slayer, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. In the last video, we got to the, um, we got the information to get to Ilos, and in this one we're going to hopefully get Ilos done. Oops, stop, now we're going to, okay, there we go. Okay. Is it? Yep. Okay. 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 You die. You die. I see you in the. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's a lot. Whoop. Okay. Okay. It is. Almost messed up on that one. Sniper rifle, medium armor, omni tool. Okay. Sniper. That's. That's a lot better than mine. I'll take that. Thank you. Remember, what does this look like? That looks like crap. I'm getting rid of that. Okay, what did I get again? I got sniper rifle, human armor, and a uh, omni tool. Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's better than what he's got. Look at that. Okay, got that done. Okay, what's over here? Is that my kill? I see the dot. Hello. Oop. Hello, bye bye. Okay. There's more. Another one. Okay. That kind of salt right for <coughs> human armor. Wow, that's better than I'm taking that. Thank you. Okay. That's good. I still want you to have your whatever that is. Get rid of that. That sucks. That sucks. Getting rid of that. Okay. Yep, thank you, Tally. Okay, what is over here? Is there anything? Hang over here up there, something. Ooh, I'm ooh. What did that do? Didn't do anything. Okay, you're dead. I see you. Okay, you're dead.
That's weird looking. Shotgun sniper rifle. Quarian armor. Okay. Quarian armor. That's cool. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. This better? Ooh, it is, it is better and it's a different color too. It's cool. I like that. Okay, get rid of that. And now I can put more stuff on ya. Yeah, let's see. 140 shield. Okay, wow, that's pretty good. What is that? 110. Put you like that. And 20, I'm going to put you with the 140. Yeah, that's good. Okay, what do you have? 145. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to put that to Omni General. That. That another hundred and twenty in here. Yep, there it is. Okay, where is that hundred at? Okay. I don't think I'm going the right way. Okay, that's an ugly mechanical thing. Ready to go that I think I already went. What is this? Okay, I'm getting confused. Map. Elevator. Elevator. Okay, so gotta if there's enemies, I can't get up that. Okay. Okay, here we go. Yep. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, it's still jammed. Okay. But no one around here somewhere. Oh. Right there. Still jammed. Okay, there's another one around here. That's no, not. It's still jammed. Oop! I see you. Where'd you? Oh no! It's another one of those freaking. Thank you. I hate these jumping things. Ok, 
Okay, is everything dead now? Yeah, okay. Don't know what that is, I'm not going in there. Okay, what is... Over... Oh, okay, there's a crate over here. This where I'm supposed to be? Come on, get in. There you go. I kind of liked her better in, in the blue one. Oh. There it is. Okay. Okay, there we go. Assault rifle, sniper, turian. Okay. Assault rifle, is that better? No. Okay. Sniper, no, Turian. No. Okay. I just jump off. No. <laughs> okay. Those are creepy. This one's supposed to go. <coughs> this one's supposed to go, I think it is. Okay, I'm going down. Okay. See an armature thing. I'm gonna hack this. Oop. Okay. There's another one. Yep, there's another one over here. Hack this one. Okay. Another one. Yep, another one. Another one over here. Yep, there's another one. I'm sure repair station. Okay. Okay. Can I kill you? No, okay. I can look at them now that they're not trying to kill me. Okay, this is a big robot. Okay. What I would like to be able to control is one of those big uh, guess, uh, cloth, this is the thing with the big, uh, laser thing. And up here. No, okay. Security panel. Check equipment. Okay, that's not important. Ok, 
Hey, what does this do? Come on. Saren's already got a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conflict. Unless he's already found, then we're just walking into a trap. That's a chance we'll have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Uh, hello. It sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It's probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we can't understand it. <coughs> I understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Incredible. <laughs> The cipher must have transferred an understanding of the Protean language into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it say? Can you make out anything useful? Old Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Hmm. Of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. Okay, that was a different voice. Hmm. It's too damaged. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. And the citadel. The citadel. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. Okay, that was cheerful, yay. That's good. Okay, where do I go? Go. Okay, there's a tunnel over here. Okay, that's good. Oh, come on. There you go. Okay, where does this go? Is taking me up. Check my journal. Okay. Security system is disabled. Return your vehicle to all Saren into the underground archives. Okie dokie. Well done. Okay, now that I'm up here again, is there anything I missed? Up here. Okay, now I got that. Uh, no. Okay, I got everything. Okay. in the Mako. Creepy underground bunker. Oh. Or we just haven't run into it yet. Ooh. Okay, can I shoot these? No. Okay. That's cool. The door over there that won't open. Okay. This is kind of cool. Let's go down another level. Okay. They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably try to keep themselves out. Oh. Okay, got cut off because these jerks were attacking me. 
Oh, that sucks. Oh well. Really? Okay, well, don't get to don't get to what Kelly said because those jerks attacked me and it caused it to cut off. Oh well. Ooh, what's that? Shoot that. What's happening? No, ram it. Okay, that didn't work. I don't think Santa's behind this. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, more pods, okay. Hmm. Okay, why is your voice so quiet? Okay, this looks like a trap. Vigil. Okay. What are you? You are not clothing, but you are not machines. <laughs> this eventuality was one of many that was this is why we send our warning to the speakers. Looks like some kind of AI program. Pretty badly damaged. Okay, friendly. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is no hope. Hmm. Huh. Wait a minute. How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Protean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Okay, what are you? Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesa Aishan, chief overseer of the ILOS research facility. Okay. Sarah could be at the conduit right now. We have to go. You seek to end a cycle that has continued for millions of years. To stop it, you must first understand it, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. Okay. That's... that's uh, That sounds bad, and also kind of cool. Okay, Citadel is a relay. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the relay is activated and the Reapers invade. Okay, so that's why the, why the bug things won't talk to me. Alright, that's interesting.
Okay. Reapers in dark space. How do the Reapers survive out of dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the research <laughs> enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel relay is activated. Well, obviously one of them didn't do a good job. Okay. Anything else? No. Okay. The Reapers can wipe out the council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and threw it in the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Hmm. And you didn't surrender or give up or something? The war was lost. If you had surrendered, we might have let you live. Well, I wouldn't. No offer of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every central region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. Okay. Um, which one do I ask? Um, why do they do this? What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. Wait a minute, did didn't you just say we had to understand them in order to make not make the same mistakes you people did and now you're saying the opposite? Okay, that didn't make any sense. Okay. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were streaked bare, harvested by the doctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. Hmm. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought. The indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. Okay, how can I stop them then? You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attack, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Hmm. Ilos was a top secret facility. Okay. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hall of the relay network. Hmm. No, it's not a one. It's a back door onto the Citadel. Oh! Okay, that sounds interesting. Hmm. Okay, they didn't find you out? How did you manage to stay hidden? 
Yeah. The official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Protean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. Okay. So, uh, um, okay. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non essential personnel. Wait, what? First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? That is very dickish. Okay. You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. Hmm. But they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. Yeah. They saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the protean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Okay. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning, a way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. What about the conduit? I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the conduit? The conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the Keepers. Oh. The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. Oh. Okay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. Hmm. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Can I come back? Saren must have had some plan to undo everything he did. The one you call Saren would use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay, and the cycle on extinction will begin again. Okay. I'll take Sovereign down, somehow. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. Okay. It will corrupt the Citadel security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Okay. Wait. Where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Okay. Uh, Protean scientists. What happened to the survivors from the conduit project? They used the conduit to gain access to the Citadel. But the conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. Hmm. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. 
Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. Okay, keepers. So when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its guild. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. Ah. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. <laughs> now, they are completely harmless. They're still creepy, though. Okay. Guess. Sovereign must have realized that organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. Okay, um... Uh, beacons. What about the beacon on Eden Prime? And the one on Burma? What were they for? At our apex, the beacons spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion, but once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Iros decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors, but if there were, we wanted them to know about Iros. We wanted to give them hope, so a message was sent across the network. Okay. You could have exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function, but we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it had been an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. Okay. Sovereign. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel will pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, would wait to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization, and when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try to discover what had gone wrong. You can just attack everything. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secrecy? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even the Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say, but it is determined to reopen the portal to dark space. Okay, that's it. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. The one you call Sarah has not reached the conflict. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Okay, bye-bye. Paragon 2, what does that mean? What happened? Saren uses the conduit to get onto the Citadel. You have to stop him from transferring control of the Citadel to Sovereign. Okay. Why, why did I get Paragon points? 
Okay. I don't get it. Okay, going back up. Okay, the good thing the subtitles on because I don't know why their voices are so quiet. I got the voice volume all the way up. Um, I see music volume, sound effects, dialogue, it's all the way up. I don't know why it's quiet. Okay, save. Okay. Just run you over. Bye bye. There we go. Okay. Oh. Stop it. Sometimes I don't. I don't like the make go it sucks to try to control it and move it around and stuff. How far down does this place go? Crap. Dang. <coughs> okay. Oh, that mess. There you go, you're dead. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, you're not dead. Bye bye. Okay, doctor. How did I mess with Big Cannon? Come on. Dang it. Oh, come on. Okay, stop. Move on. Fire, there you go. But kill the thing. Yeah, okay, you're dead now. Equipment, what I get? Didn't get anything important. this back up so uh, my vehicle will have full shields again. Okay, I'm waiting for everything to load back in again. Okay, 
save it. Okay, there we go. Okay, there it is. There, the conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay. It's death not going to make it easy on us. I can't move. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that is not good. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Hmm. That ain't good. Okay, several control people are dead. Alright. Oh crap, got time. Okay, I got a time limit. That ain't good. Well, that happened. Okay, let's get, let's get going, I guess. Okay. Oh. Okay, do I just go in the vehicle, or do I get out or something, or... Okay, do I just... Oh, that's gonna suck, okay. That's gonna be a rough landing, I think. Okay. Wait a minute, if I'm going... Am I going to appear like in outer space and have to crash into the Citadel or something? Hello. Okay, that that's uh okay. That that one actually works. Okay, that's cool. Okay, I think the Mako's finally broken now. Wanna talk, dang it. Okay, you don't wanna talk, fine. Oop, medical kit. Take that, thank you. Oh. Okay, that's creepy. Okay. Okay, hello, Avina. <laughs> Status report. Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. Hmm. Uh, that ain't good. We also detected numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. Okay. Other survivors. What about Captain Anderson and Ambassador D? What happened to them? I have no information on the status of specific individuals. Once the current crisis has been resolved, a complete accounting of casualties and survivors will begin. Okay. The council. What happened to the council? In accordance with standard emergency procedures, the council has been evacuated to the Destiny Ascension. Okay, Saren. Where's Saren? Former Spectre agent Saren Arturix is nearing the vicinity of the council chamber. Hmm. A warrant has been issued for his arrest, though Citadel Security is unable to respond to the incident. Okay. Come on, 
We need to stop Saren before it's too late. And keep going for a little while longer. Okay, hope you all enjoyed, subscribe, like, comment, and all that good stuff, and in the next video, I think will be the last uh, video, and then the game's done, I'm not sure, uh, you know what, then we move on to Mass Effect 2, <coughs> move on to Mass Effect 2 next, uh, <coughs> hope you all enjoyed, um, I already said that. Uh, see you all in the next video. Bye.